Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is probability. As we know, probability is one of the very important topic for any kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. In all the exams, question from probability will be asked. And our today's questions are very important and these kind of questions will be mostly asked in your exam. So I will suggest you please watch the previous videos and priority so that you understand the concept and then you can solve the questions easily. So let's start with the question number one. So in a class there are 15 boys and 10 girls are there. So suppose there is a class is there. This is my class in that number of boys is 15 and the number of girls are 10. So if we'll talk about the total number of a student. So total number of a student will be equal to total number of students will be equal to boys plus girls which is nothing but 15 plus 10 which is nothing but 25. So there are total 25 students are there in the class. Now three students are selected at random. So friends basically we have to calculate probability. So probability will be always equals to Ne by Ns. Now so if we we'll talk about the Ns then what will be Ns? So Ns will be nothing but so total 25 students are there and 3 students are selected at random. So 25 C3, 25 out of 25 you are selecting 3. So we'll use combination C is the selection. Now in, in your favor. So what you want? The probability that one girl and two boy are selected. Now if and is there, if or is there means we have to add and if and is there we have to multiply. Right friends, okay the probability that you want one girl and two boys. So if you want girl then select from the girls. So 10 C1 and and means multiplication. You want two boys then you select from the boys. So 15 C2 because there are total 15 boys are there. Now friends NCR I have already taught you in the previous videos. So NCR will be equal to N factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial so this is nothing but my ncr now friends here we have to calculate 25 c3 so 25 c3 will be 25 factorial divided by 3 factorial n factorial r factorial into n minus r factorial so 25 factorial will expand 25 into 24 into 23 into 22 factorial we will stop the reason is in the denominator also we have 22 factorial so the gone 3 factorial will be nothing but 6 so 6 4 ja. so I can write the denominator will be so I can write the denominator will be 25 into 4 into 23 I will not multiply it here then friends 10 c1 10 c1 will be 10 and 15 c2 so 15 c2 if you we'll calculate then it will be 15 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 15 minus 2 factorial so 15 factorial divided by 2 factorial is 2 and 15 minus 2 will be 13 factorial. Now if you we'll expand it then 15 into 14 into stop till 13 factorial and 2 into 13 factorial here. This is gone to 7 times. So 15 into 7 will be 105. Now friends you can see a 5 5 ja and 5 2 ja and 2 21 times and this is 2 will cancel this by 2 times. So 21 so 21 divided by 2 into 23 will be 46. So 21 divided by 46 will be the answer. So option A will become the correct answer for question number 1 and this kind of question you can expect in your exam friends. Now moving towards the question number 2. Now question number 2 is similar is similar to question number 1 is similar to question number 1. So let's see how we are going to solve this. Four persons are chosen at random from a group of three men and two women. So there is a group is there of three men and two women. So friends total number of total number of person. So total number of person if you will calculate then it will be 3 plus 2 which is nothing but 5. So total number of person we have got here is 5. And four children are also there. So four children so total number of person will be 3 plus 2 5 plus 4 is 9 so again we will add 4 plus this so total number of person will be 9 so this total number of person is having three men two women and four children now the chances that exactly four of them are children is now friends my probability will be equal to ne divided by ns right okay so total number of person so four persons are chosen at random from a group of three men two women and four children so total number of person is nothing but three plus two five five plus four is nine so total number of person we have is nine 
so how many persons are chosen at random so out of 9 we are choosing 4 persons so 9c4 so this will become my ns total outcomes now favorable outcomes so you want exactly two of them are children so if you want exactly two of them are children then two you select from the children and the remaining two the remaining two you select from the the remaining two you select from the main and domain see there is a condition friends try to understand so there is a condition only on the children they want exactly two children and they are not worried about main and domain so that will become 5c2 now friends 4c2 into 5c2 and divide by 9c4 will give you the answer so 4c2 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial so 4 into 3 into 2 factorial or 4 factorial is 24 2 into 2 is 4 so this we will be getting 6 5 c2 if you calculate 5 c2 so 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial 5 factorial will be 120 3 factorial is 6 6 into 2 is 12 so this will be getting as 10 divided by 9 c4 so 9 c4 means 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 5 factorial so 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial will be 4 into 3 into 2 and 5 factorial will keep it like this 5 factorial 5 factorial cancel and 4 2 j will be 8 and 3 into 2 so we will be getting 9 into 7 into 2 9 into 7 into 2 so 2 3 j and 3 3 j so 10 divided by 21 will be the answer so option d will be the answer for the question number two and this is one of the very important question friends for your exams and this kind of questions will be asked so thanks a lot for watching the video